Tata has recently launched its subcompact sedan Tata Tigor in the Indian market. The Tata Tigor is essentially the compact sedan version of the Tata Tiago hatchback. The front end is a very similar in terms of design but the Tigor does as a much better front grille with a hexagonal design element and a twin barrel headlamp with a projector low beam and halogen high beam. That said, LED daytime running lights have been given a miss. The petrol version of the Tata gets 15 inch diamond cut and a black two tone wheel that synchronize extremely well with the rest of the car design but the diesel only gets a set of smaller 14 inch wheels. But it is the rear that really stands out. Not only has Tata Motors absolutely nailed the almost coupe like style of the roofline but the boot integration too. Without a shadow of a doubt, the Tigor is the prettiest and the most well-balanced sub 4 meter sedan in India. And then you have smaller elements that stands out. Like the high mounted sub roof spoiler with the built in tail lamp that glows end to end to the tail lamps that pop out the boot structure in a 3 dimension way. The real bumper too has a large chunk of plastic that gives it sportier edge in terms of interior designs. The dashboards look pretty much the same as the one on the Tiago, but the Tiago gets a bootload of extra features. To start off with, the Tigor gets a touchscreen infotainment system with a mirror link. This means that you can pair your phone and get navigation updates and a media updates on the screen. Now ideal Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility would have been a lovely additional features to have. The higher variant also get a climate control and the dashboard itself has a solid feel to it. And just like the Tiago, you also get a color coded AC vent surrounded, the instrument cluster in easy to read and clear and the silver painted surrounded looks different. The Tigor though will be used more as a family mover than anything else. And thus the rear seat comfort is a key. As compared to the Tiago, the Tigor gets 50 mm more wheelbase which means more space in the rear for passenger. There is more than enough legroom at the rear and the Tigor seat is just about wide enough to fit 3 passengers. This is mainly due to the scooped out door panels and the fact that a rear AC vents modules does not take up the center passenger leg space. That said, in an India's hot and humid climate, a set of a rear AC vents would have been a much more usable features than a bit more legroom. And talking about the usable features, the Tigor rear bench seats get a flip down handrest, two cup holders, a feature that is in our opinion are absolutely necessary on all vehicles. The rear seat headrests are non-adjustable, Tata Motors have adjusted the foam density to make them supple enough to supportive and yet extremely comfortable. The Tata, Tigor, Diesel and a Petrol both are three cylinder engine that have been carried forward the Tiago hatchback. The petrol is a 1.2 liter motor making 84 bhp and 140 Nm of peak torque. The turbocharged 1.05 liter diesel engine on the other hand is the less power and make only 69 bhp but makes a lot more torque at 140 Nm. So what are they like? Well let's begin with the petrol. Although it does have some impressive specs on the paper, the Tigor petrol engine does disappoint a bit as it still feel a little laggy and underpowered on the road. The NBH levels too are higher than expected, especially when we push it to the red line at about 6000 rpm, which might be an issue especially since the subcompact sedan is used to mainly as a family mover. The diesel on the other hand is the less power on paper at 69 bhp but it makes more torque at 140 Nm. The diesel turbo engine also feels a little more responsive than the petrol and a lot more drivable especially around the city. Both cars though have one big positive, they are easy to drive with a light and yet responsive clutch and a slightly clash but well weighted gear shift. Tigor does not bear you out in a traffic. Talking about ride and handling, the Tata Tigor has one big plus point, it is a ride and handling balance. And the Tigor with its longer and more planted wheelbase and a large wheel tires take it to the notch higher. Both slow speed steering feedback and a higher speed cornering is impressive. Ride quality is too impressive and the Tigor managed to take most bump and undulations without much complaint. There is a hint of bump steer but then considers how bad most of our Indian roads actually are, that is expected. The Tigor gets anti-lock braking system and a standard braking is impressive. 
the petrol and the diesel feels very confident while braking hard and even under urban driving conditions the brake feedback is idle and while on the safety fronts the Tigor also offers dual airbag as a part of a standard equipment now with the price range of 4.7 lakh to 7.1 lakh the Tigor we mentioned earlier is a price about 60000 less than the nearest competition the Maruti Suzuki desire for its cheapest variant the highest specification and a more expensive variants are price even lower compared to the competition with the difference of between 1.0 lakh to 1.3 lakh in some cases. This makes the Tata Tigor a great value for money proposition. One of the biggest reasons we think the Tigor will be popular will be because of how it looks. If you find this video useful then hit like button and do subscribe to First Drive for more updates.